guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. I'm starting a new weekly vlog today. It's Thursday, so I guess it's not a full weekly vlog because I'm just gonna be filming today, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. But I filmed a video on Tuesday, I think, and it is a day in my life and a life update. And so I filmed that on Tuesday and posted it yesterday. But if you haven't seen that, and you would like to go watch it, it's up there. <laughs> this angle is like a little different than how I normally set it up and I don't think I like it. I don't like this side of my face, I'm realizing. I'm getting ready for the day. I just did a quick ab workout, which was so hard. I don't think I've worked out my abs in a while, but oh my, I was struggling. I was really struggling. I also just put dry shampoo in my hair and I feel like my hair looks gray. Cool. This is the one I use. It's the Batiste original one and I like it, but I feel like it made my hair look a little gray. I've tried the brown one before, but it's a little bit, it comes out a little too dark and then it looks weirdly dark. So I just used that one. Okay. I just put on the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer. It's totally rubbed off, so I can't tell what it says, but I think it's brow definer and the color is soft brown. And then I used the clear brow gel also by Anastasia. Now I'm using this, oh my gosh, this is almost gone. This is a eyeliner pencil and the brand is Doll 10. I love these. Now we're on to mascara. Actually, I didn't do blush. This is the Milk. I wanna say it's for lips and cheeks. Yes, it is. The color is work, W-E-R-K. Also guys, I posted, if you don't know what I'm talking about because you haven't watched my last video, go watch that and then come back. <laughs> um, but I was really excited to post that and I'm still excited. One negative comment is not gonna change that for me. But I was really excited to post that video and I've been really excited about this in general lately. But I got a comment basically saying, most of you guys were so nice, which you guys are like the best anyway. I feel like I have the nicest group of people on here. So I don't know who this negative Nelly was, but I got a comment from this girl and she was like, I followed you because you had two jobs. Uh, but she was like really disappointed that you left your job and now you're gonna be like every other YouTuber who thinks that getting coffee is a crazy day um you're not likable or relatable anymore which is so weird that someone feels so entitled to think that they can be disappointed in my life choices very weird but here's my thing me working 70 80 hours a week also yes i do clamp my eyes with this for literally <laughs> ages but it's because my eyelashes don't get curled so i have to like press the eyelash curler on it for forever um, here's my thing. Me working, I don't even know why I feel the need to defend myself. Uh, I'm just gonna say this once and get it out of the way. But me working 70, 80 hours a week, not sleeping, sometimes like literally not sleeping more than an hour a night, is not relatable. And I doubt that that person who commented that even does work that much. Like that's not relatable in the slightest. Me now only working 40, 50 hours a week, that's relatable. That's way more relatable. And I, it's unhealthy to work way more than that. The only reason I was was because I was trying to achieve where I am now, and so it was worth it. But, like, to comment that is just, I don't know. I, I think when you're happy and content in your life and who you are, you don't have time to be negative toward anyone else because it really doesn't matter. Uh, you just, when, when you're happy and you're content, you want other people to also be happy, so you you spread positivity. I know that I'm not just gonna go out and get paid to drink coffee every day. If you could do that, that's like honestly good for you <laughs> because that sounds great. I just put Charlotte Tilbury lip liner on. You guys know it's my fave. And now Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I also worked, I started working at 8 a.m. yesterday and I worked until 10 p.m., which is like so a schedule I'm used to. But here's the thing, I wasn't like being forced to work on something that I didn't want to work on. Like I worked so late because I wanted to, because I liked what I was working on. And I got a lot of stuff done that I was supposed to do today for clients. So that's a good feeling. So I'm gonna take a half day today because I worked, I don't know, 12, 
14 hours, something around there yesterday, taking into account breaks. So I'm gonna take a half day today and I think I'm gonna go shopping in the afternoon to find a Halloween costume because I don't have one. Let me know what you guys are being because I'm always the worst with Halloween costumes and I never have one until literally day of and it's so bad. So I need to go find one today. <laughs> I'm so thankful um, for all of you guys who are so supportive and I'm so supportive of you guys and whatever you wanna do. And I think you should do whatever makes you feel good in life. Life is not about caring what the heck some troll on the internet says at the end of the day, you know? You gotta make yourself happy and people around you happy and be a positive person. And yeah, <laughs> I just put on these little pearl hoops from Missouri. I love these. Okay, I'm gonna go get dressed. I just finished getting some work done. I changed my pants because, I don't know, the other ones weren't doing it for me. I think this is what I'm gonna wear, but I normally wear, I get questions about this all the time because I wear a lot of shirts that are like open back. I get questions all the time that are like, what bra do you wear? And I just wear those like nip covers, the like stickers. But I ran out of those and you can very much see my black bra under this white shirt. So I'm gonna need to like stop at CVS before I actually venture out for the day. But I think this is what I'm gonna wear. I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear. Is this the vibe? Is it too much black? No, I'm into it. I'm wearing it. I'm wearing them. This is the look. <sighs> Who knows if I'll be cold or not. I do have a little bit more work actually, but I'm gonna do some of it later. But I'm really excited to have a half day today. That's like the fun thing about making my own hours because I feel like I'm on a talk show. I'm so far from the camera. It's fun that I get to like take a half day today because I got half of the work I was supposed to get done today last night. And I'm just so not used to having that flexibility. So I'm very excited. We're gonna go shopping. I meant to call earlier this week to schedule a hair appointment. But I forgot, and it's already Thursday. I'm gonna call a salon on Uber and see if they have availability today or tomorrow. Hello, I know I'm probably really last minute, but I just wanted to call and see if you guys had any availability tomorrow or today for a haircut. Sure, that's perfect. What's your first name? It's Blake. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, I got a hair appointment for tomorrow. Hello guys, I just got back home from shopping. This is one of the options for my Halloween costume. I look ridiculous in this. I feel like green is not my color. I wish this was like pink or like a baby blue or something, but my first idea for a Halloween costume, this is from Zara, I don't know if I said that. Uh, my first idea is like a go-go dancer. I think I need to get like some sort of headband or something and I need to get like white go-go boots, but this is one option. I just don't think green is for me. Okay, this is it. Okay, what does this tag say? $39.99 from Zara. My second option, which is my preferred option, but I do have two, uh, two of my friends are having Halloween gatherings this weekend, so I could have an outfit for each. I'm definitely gonna wear this one tomorrow, but maybe I'll wear this on Saturday. I don't know. It depends on if I can find a cute like green headband type thing and big hoop earrings and some white go-go boots. Okay, I'm gonna show you the next one. I found this adorable hat. And <laughs> if you guys know me, you know that my favorite animal is and has always been a cow. I love cows, I think they're so cute. And I saw this fuzzy cow bucket hat. Come on, it's like kind of huge on my head and I can't tighten it. <laughs> you can't make it smaller unless I pull it all the way down to fit, but that looks silly. But I found this and my friend Kirsten, who is going to the 
Halloween party I'm going to tomorrow night. She's being a cowgirl, so that's why I'm definitely gonna be a cow tomorrow night because I'm gonna be the cow to her cowgirl. I feel like it's like a couple's costume. <laughs> and then I got this brown dress, and I'm definitely gonna wear this like other than Halloween, but I figured I would wear this on Halloween, and then I'm gonna paint my nails cow pattern, and I think I'm gonna try to do like cow eye makeup. So I'm gonna be a cow tomorrow. And then if I can find like go-go boots and something to finish this costume, this outfit, then I'll be a go-go uh, dancer on Saturday. <laughs> I think this is so cute. Okay, first of all, how adorable is this dress? I love this. Um, I got this in, <laughs> the brand is Pepper Mayo. I think that's how you say that. I always see them on Instagram. Uh, and the store I got it at on Newbury is called Lit, Lit Boutique. I'm gonna FaceTime my mom really quick and see if she has anything to say. My neighbors upstairs are, uh, vacuuming. She might still be working. I'm gonna be a cow for Halloween! Did you get a cow bell? No, I, that's what the woman at the store said though too. Kirsten's being a cowgirl, so I'm just gonna be a cow. That's cute. Good morning, happy Friday. I almost said happy Saturday. Um, I just finished getting ready for the day. Look at this fun eyeliner I did today. It's so cute. I'm proud of myself. I want to do a fun eye look tonight since you know I'm a cow. I want to do like a big white wing and then put like brown patches in it to look like a cow, but I've never used this white eyeliner before, so I'm just trying it out today to see, to see how long it lasts. I said I was going to take today off, but I woke up this morning and realized that I have a deadline for a campaign today that I just like totally got the day confused for. So I just spent the last like hour or so filming for that and I'm gonna spend oh my gosh my stomach is growling um now I'm gonna edit it for maybe like 45 minutes or something and then send it out and then I'm gonna head to Newbury Street I have a hair appointment I mentioned this yesterday I think but I have a hair appointment at 11. Shake your hair for me shake it shake it shake it wait this breakout right directly on my forehead with my skin I just got my hair cut and I haven't vlogged after because I thought I was having an appendicitis because I was feeling that ill. Now we're at Home Goods, smelling candles. Moo! A minute. We're ready! Yeehaw! That's the cowgirl. I'm the cow. Okay. I'd be nothing without my cow. There's the cow makeup. We've decided that I'm definitely not a cow. I'm just cow pattern. The essence of the cow. Or I'm a girl who likes cows. She's technically a cow girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a girl cow and you're a cow girl. It's like a cat dog. We're cat, we're cat, we're girl cow. <laughs> Aren't they connected at the butt? I think so. Yeah, they are. Or it's like a four-legged animal with heads on both sides. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're ready. Wait, guys, also I think I mentioned in Home Goods earlier that I thought I was having an appendicitis. I don't know, but I still have a little pain right here. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I mean, I would assume it's probably not that. But I have an appointment in urgent care tomorrow if it doesn't feel better when I wake up. Okay. Happy Halloween. Boo. Moo. <laughs> Hello vlog. It's Sunday. It's a couple days later. I don't even remember the last thing I filmed. I think it was Friday night with Kirsten, I think. And we went to a party. Oh yeah, it was. We went to my friend's house and I like thought I was having an appendicitis. <laughs> I don't know. I was having abdominal pain all day. So we got there and literally left 30 minutes later. And then yesterday I went to urgent care because I was still in pain and my doctor said it might just be a small kidney stone. So that's really fun. Um, never had that before. So I just was a potato all day yesterday. I don't know if I showed you my cow nails. Look, they're so cute. Yeah, so I did not vlog at all yesterday because I was basically in bed all day, but it's Sunday now, it's a beautiful day. 
I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. Might grab some coffee. I'm gonna start the day. I'm exhausted. I don't know if you can tell by my voice and my appearance, but I'm really tired. Uh, but I'm gonna go meet up with Caroline and we're gonna run some errands. And then I don't know what I'm doing later, but it's a really nice day and I'm happy to see the sun. Hello, I just got back home <laughs> from Trader Joe's. This is such a heavy bag. Um, we're gonna do a little grocery haul like we always do. It kind of looks like it's gonna rain. I wanted to go on a run, but it looks like it's gonna rain. Let me check my phone. Oh my gosh, my camera's going crazy trying to autofocus. Maybe that's better. I think it was trying to focus on the back. Uh, I'm gonna make falafel bowls and then I'm also gonna make tacos. So I got kale for both, I guess. I got some rice cakes and some bananas to make rice cakes with peanut butter and banana for, I don't know, snacks or breakfast or something. Some raspberries, some dairy-free yogurts. These are both, oh no, this one's cashew-based and this one's almond-based. This is the vanilla bean. And then this one is strawberry, two of each. Some avocados for tacos. A red onion because I think I'm gonna pickle this for falafel bowls. And then I got this soy chorizo, some bell peppers, and black beans, and this taco seasoning mix to saute all of that to put in tacos. Some mini tortillas, celery, either to snack on with peanut butter or probably to make um, celery juice because I've been loving it for like weeks now. It's becoming one of my favorite things. And then also for the falafel bowls, I have falafel, of course, and then this dairy-free feta, which I really like, and dairy-free tzatziki, which is also very good. Cucumber, and then limes for tacos or to put in my water and some chai. And then I also got those roses over there. The total for all of this was like 55, I think. Guys, look at this box. <laughs> it's 10 feet long. It's from Ruggable. I'm working with them um, on a campaign and I'm really, really excited. Uh, but I was just about to end this vlog and then I got a notification that I had two packages downstairs. So I just went to get them and we're gonna open them on the vlog, of course. The first one is from Jisoo. Gisu. I never know how to say it right. And I always forget. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited about this. This is PR. I am so excited that they sent this to me because I already have the hair perfume and I love it and I use it every single day. This is their honey infused hair oil. Their packaging is also so, so pretty. I am so excited to use this. I also feel like my hair has been pretty dry lately, so I need some oil in it. I think these products smell so good. It smells just like the hair perfume. Okay, and then they also sent the honey infused hair mask. I think I need a hair mask too, because I really like do nothing to my hair. Mmm. And I feel like I could use some extra products. I just love what these smell like. I'm so excited to add these to my collection. I have two of the honey hair perfumes right now and I'm going through both. They're the exact same thing, <laughs> but I have two of them. And I go through them so quickly because I wear them all the time. And I'm so excited about these, oh my gosh. Okay, that is the first package. And then, uh, I don't even really know <laughs> how I'm gonna, like what to do with this rug because it's just gonna be huge when I take it out of the box. I need to, I'm switching out the rug in my living room for this. But I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna have to move all my furniture out of here to do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I got it open. <laughs> Guys, this is huge. Okay, I'm realizing that I need to not take this out of the box now because once I do, I'm not gonna be able to move any of this furniture because it's so huge. But this is what it looks like, if you can see it. It's just like a neutral, it's kind of like a marble pattern. I think it's really pretty and I'm excited to put it down. Um, but I'm going to put it down later, so I'll show you guys tomorrow in 
well, you won't see it until next Sunday, but I'm gonna film it tomorrow in my next vlog. So I'm sorry you're not gonna see it until next, uh, a week from now. Today is just going by so quickly. I feel like the days always go by way too quickly. So I'm gonna go get all this stuff done and I'm gonna end the vlog here. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for always supporting me. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye guys!